kind of a backstory have you given your character? Well, um, I came up with the idea that uh, at the time they offered me the part, all you knew is that at the end of the first episode, he takes these guys out with a sniper rifle. That was all you knew. And so I, I called Graham and I said, well, he's obviously trained in weapons, so why don't we give him a military background? And something that's funny in terms of the veterans that I've met uh, is that they are, and what I was interested in, is that they are so completely mature in one way and professional. They can kill you ten different ways standing just away from you. They can survive. They've been through SEER training. They can survive for a week on a rabbit and a <laughs> tinder box, you know. It's right. insane uh, abilities and survival skills. At the same time, when that switches off, what's interesting is sometimes they go very much back to the boys they were before all this training. So you've got this kind of Rambo living alongside the biggest Pixar fan you know you've ever met kind of I imagine that if you you know if you saw Tim Gutterson at his desk when he had absolutely nothing to do and needed something to take his mind uh, away from the world he was in he would be reading a Maxim magazine so did you have a hard time finding your character Is it... I'm still finding it I still have no idea I mean I have ideas um, but they haven't really come into play. Uh, so far, the most you could define the character as is uh, plot point getter across her or uh, information deliverer. Um, and I, I have ideas. Uh, you know, uh, I think he's a very right wing, former military type. Uh, this season, it's been getting fleshed out a bit more. I called Graham at the end of the last season because I was a bit... I had come off the Pacific where I had done a character who had um, kind of a hillbilly background and I had this kind of drawl going on and all my, my, for the last few years my best friends have been in Little Rock and I have, so my ear has been kind of muddled as it is. People have said I have a drawl naturally anyway but I'm not aware of it and so uh, I played this character with what I thought was my natural voice. And so I said, Grandma, where am I from? What am I supposed to sound like? And he goes, I just want you to do what you did in the Pacific. I'm like, oh, okay. Did you study in college, or did you just go straight I did to not study. I'm actually completely ignorant of what I do. Uh, I'm just learning day by day. Working for you, it's, it's, uh, some people just are blindly lucky. <laughs>